But the Pistons have signed Jared Roden and Malcolm Kazalon. That's how I'm going to say his name. As their new two-way contracts, Malcolm Kazalon, he is the French teammate of Killian Hayes, also apparently supporter of number seven. Um, yeah, what do you think about these two guys? I mean, we saw Jared Roden a little bit last year, primarily with the Crews. He's one of those hustle players. He can play some defense. He's going to dive on the ground if you need him to. But what are your, tell us a little bit more about Jared Roden. I think you're the only guy that's ever watched him play more than two games. So Roden, if you didn't really get to see his time with Detroit, which was very short-lived, he's a combo guard. He, he's a guy that can kind of do it all. He, he can shoot threes. You can defend. He can pass. Um, you know, when I talk with some of my G League buddies, they call him Walmart Cade. Kind of just a, like the joke, like he's a Walmart Kate Cunningham, just mm. like a downgrade. Uh, but he, he's a good player, and he's a really good kid too, like really humble. Um, you know, th these guys, you're not going to see a whole lot of them. They're going to be with the Motor City Crews. These are just insurance policies. They're two ways. You don't really see a whole lot of two late players. You'll probably see them more on a Detroit Pistons bench than you will see them on a Detroit Pistons court. They're mostly going to be with the Crews. Um, with Malcolm, Malcolm is a guy that did declare for the draft, did not get drafted. A lot of people thought he would be a draft and stash type of a player. Yeah. Um, and that wasn't the case. He he got a deal by the Pistons, obviously a two-way. He's a he's a combo guard. He, he's a six six guard that's you know really athletic, uh, loves to catch lobs, can finish at the rim. Uh, only thing with him that you really probably don't like is the shooting numbers aren't the best. He can't I can't say he can't finish with his right hand. He can. It's just, it's not his dominant hand. And you, you could tell when he goes right. Uh, but he, he's very athletic. And I think there's some defensive promise with his game. Um, he's got a 6'11 wingspan and he's 6'6. Mm -hmm. So th there may be something there. Maybe that's why they gave him a two way spot. Maybe uh, they're looking at him as maybe a cheap Hamadou Diallo filler. I don't know. Um, there's definitely promise there with him. I, I wouldn't say he, he's a a bad prospect to give a two-way to. He's honestly like kind of like the opposite of Killian Hayes when it comes offensively. He, he plays with a lot more confidence offensively when it's attacking and finishing at the rim. He's very good at cutting off the ball and finding space in the defense to get a shot off. Only shot around 28% from three, but his shot is more consistent. It's not all over the place like Killian's, which was a big um, complaint of mine. Um, he's not the playmaker that Killian is, but he also does, like you're saying, he has the two-way promise of as being a defensive player, but it's a long shot for him. You know, I mean, he's undrafted. He's starting on a two-way deal. I don't know how many guys really have made huge names for themselves starting out that way, going undrafted, and then getting two-way contracts. Like, he's probably just going to be more of a G League favorite. I'm not saying undrafted players haven't done it. Fred Van Vliet just signed the largest contract for an undrafted guy. So it's not impossible. It's just there's a – it's a steep mountain for Malcolm Kazalon to climb here in Detroit. There's a lot of guards on this team. So we'll see. I'm happy for both of them. They're good insurance policies. Like you're saying, can't the Pistons add one more, though? I like think that goes into effect next season with the CBA. With okay. the new salary cap, you'll be able to sign three two-way contracts. Okay. Um, should have had Mikey TikTok on just for uh, this segment alone because this is right up his wheelhouse, uh, the G League. So uh, I'm going to have to text him after this is over and ask him what he thinks of Malcolm. Well, there's always going to be fans that are super hype. I'm trying to just tone it down all the time on prospects now i'm just gonna just just tone it down just a little bit